Okay? Now this next video clip is once we have set up the sample in the triaxial, we have blessed the lines and open the valves, we're getting ready to run our triaxial test. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the computer software that says triaxial. So we click on the triaxial and uh, so we have our triaxial software that is ready here. The first and very important thing you need to do is to load, to load a template file. Do not start with a blank file here. So you go to file, load, and you load the template file that was supplied with your uh, system. The template file has all the calibration factor, has all the, all the information you need to run a test. All what you will need is to do some minor editing. To run a test, a triaxial test, we put all the uh, parameters for running a test. We have, the, we have done a quick check to make sure that the, the sensors are responding and they are working okay. We went to the system monitor, there's load displacement, cell pressure, sample pressure. They're all responding and, uh, uh, correctly. And then the motor for the load frame and cell pressure, sample pressure is on, on, on. And limit switches, don't worry about limit switches for the flow pump because the software automatically empty the flow pump and fill it to the desired capacity that you specify in the software. The load frame here, you do need to have the platen at certain position away from the lower limit switch. Next time, thing we're going to do is we're going to go into run and do start and we're going to give it a name. We're happy we have the same name. Usually you, do, you always give a new name. You do not override anything. Uh, you say, I'm going to say yes. Now the next uh, window that comes out is initialize flow pump. You say yes and once you say yes, the flow pump automatically close and open valves, empty the water and fill it to the capacity that you specify. In this example we have 90% and 75% here. So I'm going to say yes and it will automatically uh, empty, is emptying here. It's going to empty the it was already empty, so now it's filling the pumps with water until it gets to the capacity. After the flow pump has been initialized, and you can see and the monitor that it has reached 90% and 75% here, that's for the cell, and this is for the sample. So now the next message that shows up on the screen is that position platen. Position button is going to close the gap between the load set button and the piston. And always say yes. And you're going to see that the platen is going to be moving up until it closes the gap. And then it will automatically stop. After the gap is closed, and we can check it manually by trying to insert a, a piece of paper, and it does not. And typically, you put about a quarter pound of load to make a contact between the load cell, the button, and the piston. The next thing that shows up here, we're going to say OK, OK, because we know that the gap is closed, so that's OK. Now the next message on the screen is unlock piston. So it tells you to unlock piston, so you go and you unlock the piston. Okay? So you're measuring the sample. Mm. properties, not the piston properties. And then you hit OK and the test automatically starts from beginning till the end. Mm. 